So I made this beast. First day that I got my 3D printer, of course I went to Thinkiverse because that was the website that I found that had the most models. And of course I started downloading all the models, all the you know things that I wanted to print. And I love motorcycles. I love anything that has to do with engines. I love Harley's. I love custom Harley's. I was watching for many many years. I was watching Orange County Choppers with Paul and I think both of them Paul Junior and Senior. So I love choppers, so I found these beautiful choppers and we got two examples here. I will include all the links down below if you want to download it. This is the size that they came. I did not scale or scale down, scale up any of them. This is how they came. The only thing I did is I painted them, of course. So we're gonna have, so we have two styles. This took a little bit time to print, a little bit of filament to print. There's no special settings that you need for this one. This is a bobber style motorcycle. I painted it like a copper you know, like a couple spray paint that I had. It came really nice. I did some chrome, but the chrome faded away over the years. Black wheels. You have to read the description in Thinkiverse. Some of the files are missing from it. So there's a link in the Thinkiverse to direct you to calls.com that has all the files. I think it's missing the front and back caliper, I think, and it's missing the, the belt. It is a really nice model. I like how it comes. This is a one four scale, as the designer says. It is a really nice model, I really like it. It has that old school bobber look. The front front end steers, the front wheel spin, the back one too. I think I had some issue that time with my printer and do not know, so I had to adjust a little bit some of the things, sand it down, but it came looking really nice. And then let's move to the other one, which this is another really cool model. It has its own stand down here. This is like an Orange County Chopper Special. It has, you know, the one piece uh, tank and the seat. It has nice custom fenders front and back, low back fender. It has a chain, it has a, I think, Harley, maybe an Evo Harley, I don't know, engine. Nice belt here. Again, it turns. The wheels on this one do not turn because I glued them shut because I had some problems, especially when you're gluing pieces that are already painted and you put super glue on them it melts the paint so basically it takes days to dry but yes i painted it black with some chrome and some silver it came through it came out looking really nice there's no much details it's a simple engine this one has a little bit more details yeah really nice motorcycles both of them at that time i was not thinking of designing i was not looking into fusion how to design all of those things but after a few months, when I get used to the, my printer, I wanted to design something and I wanted to design my own motorcycle. So I made this beast. Yeah. So here, here she is. This isn't a chopper, this isn't any like CBRs, GSXRs or anything like that. This is a different style of motorcycle, probably something that you haven't seen. If you are from, you know, a different country, you haven't seen. Asia probably, Thailand and like that. They have seen something like that and here in Greece we have something like that. So let me give you an overview. Like I said, this was my first big, big model to design and 3D print. This took time to print and time to put together. There's a full video if you can check in my, if you want to check in my channel. There's a full, full build video on this one and me explaining some of the features, some of the things. So let me give you, this is a Greek style dragster. I'm saying it Greek because I'm living Greek. But the same style dragster they have in Asia. I haven't seen them in USA, so I'm not sure. So basically, this is a cup frame. This all is a cup frame. Uh, we call them here GLX, but overseas they are cup C50, C90, Honda Trail uh, frame. Usually they will cut it, they will add an aluminum uh, subframe up, a seat, a tank, a front end, a telescopic front end, if I'm not mistaken. You, before they were running BMX wheels, but of course, uh, rules changed, so now I think they're running aluminum. Big, bar, big fat tire on the back, chain, your controls on the side. Basically, that's it. Nothing special. And of course, you have your classic C50 cab, tray, bike, engine here, which usually is modified 
to a point that even the the engine block is changed it's aluminium but yeah this is what i came out it's a really nice you can scale it down but you may lose some details like in the engine you may lose it so this is a one second i think scale it's uh, some parts are painted like the tongue uh, the rims the engine is painted i have a separate video when i build the engine so you can go and check this one out and i have a separate and a separate video when i build the whole bike the only thing the only thing this will not come is the cables for the throttle and like a spark plug or anything you will have to put your own easy to put together i always make my prints that are easy to put together the wheels of course front and back spin you got your own stand if you don't want to pin the print the motorcycle you can only sprint the engine by itself so yeah this is 3d printed motorcycles there's many many more files that you can find online from uh, Harleys to trail bikes to motocross whatever you want there is you can find them online especially in thinkiverse they are free to download all of those three are free to download so if you like them give me a like subscribe and share and i hope i will see you in the next one